about for 12 centuries. So we can't get away from the fact that all of us, all of us are blind followers and we have no choice but to be blind followers. Because if somebody says this is Sahih Hadith, how are you going to guarantee 100% it is Sahih? It's not the Prophet didn't say it, another man said it. And Imam Bukhari, Rahimahullah, for example, in his compilation, there are eight, nine chains. Imam Bukhari didn't meet them all. He only had to base his judgment on what he heard, hearsay. So you have to place your trust blindly on Imam Abu Hanifa or Albani or other Muhaddisun or Bin Baz that what he is saying is Sahih. And is it really Sahih? You can argue all night and all day till Qiyamah and you will go round and round. We've got no choice but to place blind trust. So if you're going to place our trust somewhere and trust someone, yes, then why not follow the people who have been followed for 12 centuries? And by following them, what's happened? It's produced great muhaddisun, great fuqaha, great ulama, and people have managed and lived together. And mashallah, deen has prospered. But now, in this time and age, we see so much fitna. Fitna on the name of Quran and Hadith.